Hello everyone, so today I am going to teach you how to create your online assessment tool using book widgets. So first, you are going to type in the search bar bookwidgets.com I mean in the web browser, uh, web address. Then, you are going to be prompted with this screen. Click start for free. Then, you sign up with your Google account. Para may link mo ito um, sa iyong Google Classroom. Just click on the account. Then, check these two boxes here. And the third one is that I'm not a robot. So, just verify. Register account and sign in. Click this here. So this is the widget. Then create the widget. Then we have here the quiz. So um, basically teachers like this quiz, worksheet, split worksheet, and yeah, the web quest that I personally use worksheet part because in the quiz part though they are just the same in the quiz part every questions is presented in each page uh, whereas in the worksheet all the questions can be seen in one page right so for example like that you add your question text multiple choice question And after you type your question, click preview. So all the student will do is you just click on the circle there. Then for the next question, the next page, submit. Then send. Then just close it. Then for the student, student work so for example one of the students just got one over four so based on this report we can see that this is a struggling student so this question put these events in the correct order is poorly understood by everyone so if, um, based on this we can um, make our um, Ask them the uh, same questions again. So in the support part, we have tutorials. different tutorials here okay so let's go back to book widgets so if you're going to create your widgets just click here create a new widget so there are 30 so basically book widgets or widgets are exercises games interactive activities for your students so there are 30 um, not really 30 they are divided into different category so this is my favorite worksheet so under worksheet we have 30 question types so out of these 30 five of them are not um, readily available after you paint it 
So they are this multi-line text, question rich text question. So the student will have to answer on their, I mean, will have to answer and the teacher will have to check it first. The answers are not readily available. And so with um, whiteboard question, photo question, and audio recording question. So these five are, um, if you are going to use this, you have first to go over to the student's answer for you to um, correct it. Whereas the, the other 25 question types, um, after the students will submit their answer, they can also click show answers and the answer keys will pop up. Alright, or pop out. What's the correct term for that? Anyway, so if you have, for example, a microscope, okay, you may click on annotate this picture and you are going to select the image of the microscope and annotate it. For example, I'll select image. Since I don't have prepared image, just find image online. So, microscope. Alright, so let's continue. So, if for example, you are going to locate the image that you are looking for in Google, all you have to do is you type the name of the image, click image, then use this, tools. Then select labeled for reuse. So, we were told by the speaker when I attended the seminar for the EdTech, to do like that right so since I have already saved an image in my flash drive I'll just locate it this one so first put the title I forgot microscope parts then, question, identify the parts of the microscope. This is the picture. Now, let's have the input field. So let's start. So first point, for example, you want to identify this, point this part, then the student will write the answer here. So just click done. Then just write the correct answer here, arm, then just put this symbol so that if the student will answer the arm it is still correct so those are the possible answer just back arrow then add input field again click on the picture so, if for example, you want to identify this part here, just drag this box there, and just click done, just write the correct answer, so course, adjustment, knob, course adjustment knob, then just put this, the course adjustment knob so that if the student will answer the course adjustments now adjustment knob with the word the still correct the course adjustment knob okay then just uh, if you are done with it you do not want to add any more questions 
just um, check here um, as for myself I don't uh, enable submitting of answers because I don't want to flood uh, this in my mail then just for the practice of the students by the way so then for the correction options yeah show correct answers when quiz is done all right then show score when quiz is done i usually um, choose score versus maximum it's okay now for the cover image i'll just choose the image downloads okay, just continues that one any image will do anyway so as for the moment this is for our illustrations only it seems that we don't all right so let's just find image online so parts of microscope so in here we do not need to filter it so it's in already um, um, pictures from pixabay so they are they are copyright free microscope let's just use microscope and there you go you may select this image and automatically will be there all right so let's just replace that because this is irrelevant to our topic all right so if you are done with it just preview Open like that so the student will just answer here so for example course uh, just meant not then here are Jen after he or she answers just show answers so the score is 2 over 2 right so but if you want that it would be submitted, just click this, enable submitting. Right? So let's try to preview. For example, this one only are something. John, student email. already um, and automatically it will open to the um, correct answer so the student will right away see if uh, he his or her answers are correct and looking at the email of the, the teacher the teacher is shaking right Try to look at it, and so our recording is almost over. So thank you for um, being with us today and how to uh, use this online assessment tool. I hope I have imparted to you this little knowledge of mine. So this, our internet connection now is not very nice, so that's why it takes um, some time for me to load this page. Alright, so bye-bye.